It's Kaylee Bird and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to share with you my life in the gorgeous lush valley of Palolo, just outside the quaint town of Kaimuki, just outside the big city of Honolulu on the gorgeous island of Oahu in the incredible Hawaiian island chain. Oh my gosh, you guys. These last four years living out here has been like a crazy dream. Every day I wake up literally and I'm like, am I here? Is this my house? Is this my address? Is this my job? Yes, it is, it has been, and it has been the greatest. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I'm not gonna go down to Waikiki and show you all the touristy whatever. If you wanna see that, I'm sure there are a thousand other vlogs that can show you. Today, I am going to show you my life, my little coffee shop, my little happy spaces, my favorite beaches, my favorite hikes, and of course, plenty of my hula hooping. So thank you guys for being here. Make sure you pop that subscribe button. I hope you have as much fun checking out my life out here as I have had living it. Oh my goodness, yes, it really is that good. All right, thanks guys, enjoy. Okay, so we all know Hawaii has like the most gorgeous coastline and beaches and stuff everywhere. But I really wanna share with you my own little personal town of Kaimuki. I love this. It's called the top of the hill town. It is super adorable, very nicely located just outside of Honolulu, close to dozens of hikes and so many beaches. And not only is it in a great location, but I love that it is all locally owned businesses. There are no Walmarts or Applebee's or any of that crapola around here. The biggest brand names, literally, there is a Goodwill and a 7-Eleven and about a mile away there's a McDonald's. And lucky for me, the best spot in Kaimuki is also where I work a few mornings a week. Yep, coffee talk. I love it so much. I am a barista and it is awesome. I get to meet all of the fun creatives all over Kaimuki. My coworkers are a genuine riot and it is such a chill atmosphere that I actually wind up bringing my computer up here so I can do my art biz admin work a lot of afternoons after I get off work or even on my days off. And nothing makes you feel more like an Oahu resident than being on an episode of Hawaii Five O. Yep, that's right. They just came and took over and filmed in our coffee shop a few weeks ago. And I was on camera serving some lattes to a few actors. I don't know in what capacity I'll be on the episode, but I know I got paid for it. Ha! <laughs> Can't beat that part-time barista life. It really is a lot of fun. And conveniently, just around the corner, I reside in beautiful Palolo Valley. I'm right up in the back in this lush area. It is gorgeous. If you'd love to see more of the nest, check down below because I have a video all about my studio space. I can tell you though, one of the very best things about Hawaii is all the fresh fruit. You guys, I can't even express to you. You can literally just walk down the street and there's fruit hanging from trees in all the neighborhoods and everything. Everybody winds up having trees that have too many fruits on them and you get things like avocados as big as your hands by the bag full. I can't even tell you guys, I used to have a mango tree and there were piles of them. Oh my goodness, lily koi, one of my most favorite things. And not too recently, I was blessed with way too many star fruit. What an adorable problem. And one of the best things about living in paradise is having all your favorite friends and family come and visit you. Like my girl Stephanie who came out earlier this year. She's a flow artist and came out and had a fabulous time with a bunch of my other fire flow friends. It was incredible. And just past my place is the H1 Highway up the East Coast, which is one of the most gorgeous and scenic drives, I think, on the planet. I can't even imagine anything more beautiful. And within about 20 to 30 minutes of my house are half a dozen of the most incredible beaches you could ever wish for.
And don't even get me started on these sunsets we have out here. They're like paintings in the sky. But I will admit, the only thing nicer than admiring a gorgeous sunset on the beach is spending the night and waking up the very next morning on that same beach. Oh my goodness, beach camping under the stars, under the Milky Way, under the shooting stars. You can't even believe the bliss. And even after almost four years here, I'm still being taken to amazing new places. Look at this incredible coastline that one of my best friends, MC, has taken me to. It was an incredible afternoon. We ran around exploring, loving life, looking at the coast, these formations and the splashes and the rocks, and just being around this super intense natural energy. Oh my gosh, I can't even describe it, you guys. The sea spray just everything and where else but Hawaii can you come across a bench that literally hangs right over the ocean and one of the other best features of Oahu are the tiny outer islands you can paddle out to this is a view standing on one of the Moke Islands looking back at Oahu. It's seriously like another world staring back at this prehistoric land. I can't even get over it. And one of my very most favorite adventures I love to do whenever I can is the swim out and hike up to the top of Mokoli'i Island, otherwise known as Chinaman's Hat. Oh yes, with a pair of flippers and a boogie board, it's a safe and steady 25 minute little swim out there. You don't have to be an expert, it's reef most of the way, so it's quite safe. You go all the way out there, put on your hiking shoes, and climb to the top for one of the most beautiful views I have ever seen in my entire life. Surely there are places as beautiful, but nothing more than looking back at the island of Oahu and out at the deep blue ocean on top of this gorgeous tiny island. The feeling of swimming and climbing to the top is so epic. And bring in your best girls and some yummy snacks for a lovely afternoon out is just the best way to spend your day. True Champions. And just in that same area, there's an amazing sandbar in Kaneohe Bay. You can paddle or boat out, drop anchor, and literally just hang out all day in about waist deep water, far out from the beach. It's really amazing space, and people love to come party out there on the weekends, let me tell you. And did someone mention hula hooping? Because, um, yeah, your girl definitely does that all over the island. From the beaches, to the rocky coasts, to the jungle hikes that end in waterfalls, to the ridge hikes, to everywhere in between. Your girl is all about having that hoop action on island. And one of the most epic spots I've ever hooped for sure, where you can not only get a nice splash from the coast, but on a good day you can get an amazing splash from a blowhole. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you I was grinning so hard while this was filming. 
And of course, everybody digs the beaches, but if you've been following me for even a minute, you know how much I love my hikes. How about hiking to the top of something tall and looking down at the beach that you just kayaked out to? That's right, those are the Moak Islands from that kayaking trip. Oh, the ferns, the ferns, absolutely one of my most favorite parts of hiking through the islands. I just love all of the varieties. I feel like I'm still seeing new kinds when I go out. And not only do you get to experience them, but on many of the hikes, you literally traverse directly through tiny little paths and prehistoric feeling lands. The ferns have touched my soul here. And of course, traversing these ridge lines through hundreds and thousands of fern plants for hours and hours gives you the reward of views of the island that are completely unparalleled. I can't even tell you how meaningful and how one with the universe you feel after emerging from a trail to look down upon the entire island like this. Here's one of my most favorite hikes on the whole island, Lanipo. This is the view from the top of the peak. It's about a seven or eight mile hike and it takes about that many hours to get there and back. Luckily, it's actually really close to my house. And I know it's kind of hard to tell from this video, but you can literally see about 80% of the entire island of Oahu from this peak. It is a pretty treacherous hike and the feeling of accomplishment is unparalleled at the end. One of my best friends, Bela, and I used to tackle all these hikes together before she left the island. I miss you, Bela. Interestingly enough, the terrain is actually very different on parts of the island that are quite close together. Some places are so lush and green and they're basically moist and damp all year. And other places you'll go are just dry and have crispy, dry, brown leaves almost all the time. It's amazing that just 10 or 15 minutes down the road can make such a difference. Many of these ridges are so high that the weather actually changes depending on how high you are. Often, you will get to the peak after hours and hours of hiking through treacherous jungle and land only to be rewarded with a view of pure white. I should be able to see about half the island from here, but instead we're hanging out in the clouds today, baby. But honestly, as hot as those ridges get, this can be a really happy occurrence. And I definitely love pushing myself on a solo hike, but bringing my girls with me to conquer all of these amazing heights, even my besties from back on the East Coast will come, because there is nothing better than a great view when it is shared with your best friend. Love you, Lainey. Can't wait for more adventures in the future. And then other days we choose to take it a little easier and do some nice plain air painting, either up on a beautiful ridge, sometimes at the beach, or even in the Arboretum. Thanks so much for joining me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed touring my happy home. Make sure you pop that subscribe button and stick around for all the fun adventures.